This is part 2 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the software's required and the steps to set up Angular 2 in Visual Studio 2015. The first software that we need is Node. We need to install Node and NPM. Both of them are part of a single download and we can download Node from this URL right here. So when we navigate to that page, we see several versions of Node here. So the first obvious question that comes to our mind is, which one should I download? Well, that depends on the type of operating system you have. If you have Windows like me, then you download the Windows versions. We have two Windows versions here. So which one should I download? That depends on whether you have 32 or 64 bit operating system. To determine what operating system you have, in the run window, type msinfo32 and click OK. This brings up the system information window. On the left, select system summary and on the right, look at this system type. If it says x64 based PC, then that means you have 64 bit operating system. If it says x86 based PC, then you have 32 bit operating system. So depending on whether you have 32 or 64 bit operating system, download the appropriate version of Node. Now this will download an MSI file into your downloads folder. Right click on that and select install. And then follow the simple on screen instructions to install Node. One important thing to keep in mind is that to develop Angular applications, we need Node version 4.6.x or greater and NPM version 3.x.x or greater. To verify the versions of Node and NPM, we can use these two commands right here. We run these commands from the command prompt. So again, in the run window, type cmd and click OK. This brings up the command window. And here, if I type Node-V, we get the node version and if we type npm hyphen v we get the npm version so that's our first step install node and npm but one important thing to keep in mind is that if you don't have node installed and if you use these commands node and npm within the command window you might see a message saying npm is not recognized as an internal or external command so that's an indication that you don't have node installed at all the next step is to install Visual Studio 2015 Update 3. To verify the version of Visual Studio you have, click on Help about Microsoft Visual Studio. And then in here you can see I have Microsoft Visual Studio 2015 Update 3. Now if you don't have Update 3, I'll have the link available in the description of this video and on my blog so you can download and install it. The next step is to configure environment settings for Node and NPM. To do this, within Visual Studio, click on Tools and then select Options. Within the Options window, expand Projects and Solutions and select External Web Tools. We need to move this global path entry to be about these two entries, Dev Environment Directories. To move it up, select the path entry and then click the up arrow. This tells Visual Studio to look for external tools like NPM in the global path before these two internal paths. And then finally click OK to finalize the environment settings for Node and NPM. Next, we need to install TypeScript for Visual Studio 2015. To download TypeScript, visit this URL right here. Once we navigate to that page, we have the download button. Click the download button to download the TypeScript executable to your downloads folder. Here we have the TypeScript executable. Right click on that and select run as administrator and follow the on-screen instructions to install TypeScript for Visual Studio 2015. One important thing to keep in mind is that to develop Angular applications, we need TypeScript 2.2.0 or later. To verify the version of TypeScript you have, Within Visual Studio, click on Help and then select About Microsoft Visual Studio. And as you scroll down in the list, you will find the version of TypeScript you have. The next step is to create an empty ASP.NET Web Application project. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Click on File, New, Project. Select Web under Visual C Sharp. In the middle pane, select ASP.NET Web Application and let's name our project Angular 2 Demo and then click OK. On this screen, select the empty template and click OK. This creates the ASP.NET Web Application project for us. Now, we need to download the quick start files from Angular website. Here is the URL for that. Once we navigate to that URL, on the page we have this green button, clone or download. 
Once we click on that, we have the option to download the quick start files as a zip folder, which I have already done. And within our downloads folder, I have the zip file which contains the starter files. The next step is to copy the required starter files to the ASP.NET Web Application project that we have just created. First, we need to extract the contents of the zip folder, which I have already done. And here is the extracted folder. Within this folder, we have got several files and folders. We don't need all these. We need the source folder, its subfolders and contents, and we need bsconfig.json, package.json, and tslint.json. So let's copy these. And we need to paste these files and folders within the root directory of the ASP.NET Web Application project. We named our project Angular 2 Demo, and the solution is also named Angular 2 Demo, and this is present within C Drive. So when we open the project folder in File Explorer, we will see we have Angular 2 Demo folder inside another Angular 2 Demo folder. This first Angular 2 Demo folder is the solution folder, and this is the project folder, and this is the folder in which the starter files need to go. So let's paste them in this folder and then let's click this show all files icon within the solution explorer. Now we can see the files and folders that we have just pasted. So let's expand the source folder, its subfolder app. So we need all these files and folders to be included in the project. So I'm going to select all of them until bsconfig.json. This package.json and this packages.config file, this is created by Visual Studio when we created a project and it's already included in the project, so we don't need to include that. And this tslint.json is also the starter file and needs to be included in the project, so let's select that as well. And at this point, let's right click and select this option, include in project. Now we have a prompt here, search for TypeScript typings. When you get this prompt, click no. So at this point, we have included all the starter files within our ASP.NET Web Application project. We'll discuss what these files are and their purpose in detail in our upcoming videos. The next step is to restore the required packages. To do this, we simply have to right click on package.json starter file and then select this option, restore packages from the context menu. This is going to automatically install all the required packages for us. So let's do that now within Visual Studio. Right click on package.json and select restore packages from the context menu. And in the Visual Studio status bar here, you can see the progress. And within the output window, notice it is executing this command npm install. So it's going to take a few seconds to install all the required packages for us. The restoration is now complete. Notice we have got a few warnings here, but we can safely ignore them. And within the status bar, notice the message, installing packages complete. And to see all the node modules that are installed, click on the show all files icon. It's already clicked. And notice at the moment we don't have node underscore modules folder here. So let's click on it once and then click on it again to show all the files. Notice we have this node underscore modules folder and within that we have all the required node modules. So one important thing here to keep in mind is that we should not include this node underscore modules folder in the project. The final thing that we need to do is run the project and we are going to do that from the command window. So first let's fire up the command window and we need to navigate to the root directory of our ASP.NET Web Application project. We know we have created our project in C drive. The solution folder is Angular 2 demo. The project folder is also Angular 2 demo. Now we type this command npm start and then press enter. It's going to do a couple of things. First, it's going to launch the TypeScript compiler and then compile the application code. So notice here we have TSC, TypeScript compiler. And in a few seconds, it's also going to launch Light Server, which is going to launch the browser and we can see the output in the browser. So it's going to take a few more seconds to launch the Light Server, which in turn will launch the browser. So the Light Server is launched. Now it's going to launch the browser. And within the browser, we will see Hello Angular. So here is the output. And this is coming from 
index.html file. This is the starter file that we have downloaded from the Angular website. We'll discuss all these starter files and their purpose in our upcoming videos in detail. And then the code is present in this file, app component.ts. Notice here we have the code. And if we change the value here from Angular, at the moment notice it is displaying hello Angular. So if we change this to Angular 2, and then when we save the changes, you know, the light server is listening for those changes, and the changes will be automatically picked up and displayed in the browser. At the moment, we are running our project using command vendor, but I prefer running this Visual Studio project using F5 or Control F5. We don't have that capability at the moment. Let's see what happens if we try to do that. Let's set index.html as the start page and then run our project by pressing Control F5. Notice we are able to navigate to index.html and we see this message loading app component here but it doesn't do anything beyond that. Let's launch browser developer tools and within the console we can see several errors. So in our next video we'll discuss how to configure our project so we can run it by pressing F5 or Control F5. Thank you for listening and have a great day.